Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for what is going to be a morning routine video. Things have changed with the new baby so I figured I would show you guys what that looks like for us right now. We do have a family bed and what that means is we all sleep in one bed. Emmett has started the transition to his own room but 80% of the time he will wake up and crawl into our bed. So it's definitely a process but he's doing really good with it so far. If you're interested in how I practice safe sleep while co-sleeping, I might be able to talk about that over on my Instagram in my stories or something like that. So let me know if you'd be interested in hearing more about that. So before we get out of bed, I feed Aurora and you guys probably think I'm crazy not waking up like an hour before my kids, but I would rather sleep in so I just get him some cereal on the go. And then with that, I'll usually just give him like a yogurt and some fruit like grapes. He is at the stage of being really picky so I just like throw everything at the wall and hope it sticks. <laughs> I haven't even made myself coffee yet. I just want to get everyone situated first. So with Emmett in his high chair with his breakfast and morning cartoons on, I will take this opportunity to get Aurora changed and dressed for the day. Finally, I will get my coffee going. I literally cannot live without it in the morning. I used to just drink tea, but after baby number two came into the picture, the tea just wasn't cutting it anymore and I felt like I was a zombie all day. And once my coffee is finished brewing, I will sit on the couch and feed Aurora again. I use this time to check all of my social media and make sure that all of my scheduled posts went up and check my emails, that sort of thing. I've really gotten into starting to just schedule a lot of my content. That way I can just sit down, do all of that once in like a half an hour and then spend the rest of the day with my kids. So this part of my day is kind of hit or miss. Once I have fed Aurora for a second time and laid her down to sleep, I will sometimes do my makeup. It really depends on what I'm doing for the day. I also apparently didn't film the first half of this where I brushed my teeth and used my face wash and toner and only caught where I applied my moisturizer. Clearly I didn't drink enough coffee yet. But in general right now I'm trying not to wear a whole lot of makeup because my acne has been like so out of control lately as you can see here it's really bad. So I have to tell you that's a hairbrush. It's not a toothbrush. That's not a toothbrush, buddy. You brushing your teeth with your hairbrush? Jesus. Really? <laughs> Comb your hair. Oh wow. You're so good at that. Good job. Once I'm almost done my coffee, the next thing I will do is make a smoothie for me and Emmett. I typically use orange juice, a bit of yogurt, and whatever frozen fruit I have at the time, and some fresh bananas. Emmett is absolutely obsessed with smoothies ever since the first time I let him have a sip of a drink from Booster Juice. That was it. He's just crazy for them now.
spaghettis? I think those are too big for you, baby. Then I just sit down and watch Good Mythical Morning while my son destroys the living room some more. I just let it happen. I've, I've accepted my fate. So once everybody's content and doing their own thing, I start cleaning the house a little bit. First thing in the morning, I don't do a whole lot. I'm just gonna tidy up the kitchen and then I'm gonna tidy up the living room a little bit. And then I'm just gonna sit down and fold laundry and watch a show, still in my pajamas. And while I do that, honestly, Emmett will just entertain himself in his room with all of his teddy bears that he is obsessed with. He really loves stuffed animals. The only thing I don't understand is why you have to throw out them all over your head. What are you doing, baby? You gonna hang out here while mommy cleans a little bit? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you hang out here while I do some cleaning. Sometimes it doesn't always work out, and in order to get anything done, I will put Aurora in the carrier. Depending on how she's feeling, this will do the trick, but if it doesn't, I will just wait to clean. It's important to remember that the mess is still going to be there, so it's okay to just let it be if your little one needs your attention. It's been a hard transition for me coming to terms with things not being perfect all the time or being done right away, and it's easy to get overwhelmed and really stressed out when you think about it like that. And even more so when you are by yourself all day long like I am, you really need to just take everything as it comes to keep yourself sane. So I've got the dishwasher going, I tidied up the kitchen. I'm still working a little bit over here. It's like 11.30 and Emmett is pretty much always hungry. So now I've got him going on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and another yogurt. And as soon as I took her out of the carrier, she pretty much went back to sleep. So that's pretty much it as far as mornings go. <laughs> yeah, I try not to worry a whole lot about getting a bunch of stuff done first thing in the morning. So for the most part in the mornings, we just hang out on the couch, we watch some cartoons, or I watch my show and he plays with his trucks. Pretty much just go with the flow until I have both of them napping at the same time so that I can get literally anything done. <laughs> It is hard because he wants my undivided attention literally all of the time, especially with a new baby around. So for example, right now she's down for a nap. So <laughs> pretty much right now is my one-on-one -on -one time with Emmett, which will be for the rest of the afternoon. If you like this video and you're interested in seeing what my evening routine looks like, just let me know down in the comment section below. It really helps me out to kind of get a feel for what kind of content you guys want to see. And as always, thank you guys for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Don't forget to hit that bell, and I will see all you guys in the next video.